it's almost like a sickness. I mean, you, you just you just fall into it, and then you're just experimenting. It's magical sometimes. And when you first get into it, it's about creating those recipes. But the, you know, where I'm at now in the game, it's about consistency. You know, we're at a position now to where every single batch of beer on a brand that we make needs to be consistent. What I like about Madison is that he expects quality. He has high standards for the people that work for him. And then I think what's most important is the high standards of the quality of beer that he puts out. He will not compromise. You get a lot of satisfaction when you get people that come in once a year and they say, you know what, you're one of the best breweries we've ever been to because every time I come, your beer's the same. And that's what I pride myself on more than the creativity part. Chemicals are hugely important. A brewer is literally a janitor. We are making a clean environment for yeast. Yeast is our everything. So if the yeast is not in a clean environment and not happy, then all of us are not happy. If we don't have a clean brewery, don't have clean tanks, then we're, our beer's no good and we're out of business. What we're trying to do is give the brewers the freedom to not worry about the cleaning sanitation process. So between the uh, state-of-the-art chemicals, making sure that they don't have to worry about whether they're going to clean every time, they're going to sanitize every time, we take those worries off the table. We had other chemical suppliers in the past. There are times when we had some issues uh, with our chemicals to where they weren't doing what we wanted them to do, weren't cleaning properly. Jim came in one day, started talking to him, said we'll test your products, had good results. And we reduced their overall usage by over 20%. Uh, so for them, they were able to save money. And we were also looking at the fact that we're not overusing the chemicals and putting too much chemical down the drain, which means an additional cost on their wastewater. We went up to Chattanooga and saw the facility. They have their own lab where they're testing all their own chemicals, producing all their own chemicals. A lot of these other guys are just, you know, sellers. They just buy other stuff repackage it, put their label on it, and it's out the door. Z has been fantastic. Um, they've been super responsive. Anytime we've ever had an issue, we've, we've gotten, I mean, just like that, everything's good. And we're gonna put out the best product for our customers that's, that's possible. And that goes back to analyzing all the raw ingredients that come in to our facility in Chattanooga, to uh, checking every product that goes out into a drum or tote or a bulk tank and making sure that it is of the highest standards. And there are no limits within Cigar City as, as far as their product is concerned. And I think that's the same thing with Z. We've been given the opportunity to take this, this brewing program and go in any direction we need to go. Uh, love me some clean tanks, that means I love me some good chemicals. So Z Company has been a great partner for us and I think they've been a big part of the success that we've had by making sure that the beer that goes out the door is good to go.